Yo, YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? Trey back again, yes, to hit you with a video. Now, this video come out of Florida. We know what they already say about Florida. By way of pumping, a big shout-out to everybody in Florida. I got nothing but love for you no matter what you want to think. Big shout-out to everybody all the way from Miami to Jacksonville, all the way to Tampa Bay in the house. But anyway, you know one thing that's uh, a plague that's going on, basically, and I'm not talking about pneumonia, Strange-ass pneumonia at that. Uh, the flu or whatnot. No, we have a strange plague of cheating-ass bad pastors and also bad-ass kids. If we can get the cheating pastors, these crooked pastors right, and these bad-ass kids, the world will be a much, much better place. Just like this story that's coming out of Pompano. Yes, I hope I'm saying it right. Let me know if I am or not. Because, hell, y'all be mad as hell. I'll be mispronouncing some of your damn cities and stuff. Like, I supposed to know about all them damn different names. There's different ways to pronounce it. Just like some people say, Tree port, and some people say sweet port. Anyway, let me go on ahead before y'all get mad. Now, this dispute allegedly started between family members. Yes, you have a son who happened to be 20 years old, even though he looked every bit 38 in the face. Quintez Rodney Blake sound like a bad little rascal. Now, anyway, him and his dad allegedly got into it over money. I don't know what kind of money it was or whatnot, but the son was a 20-year-old convicted felon and already on probation. So you know his ass going to be nailed to the wall. They don't got all kinds of like charges on him. They don't got, his ass going to be nailed to the wall. They got a whole slew of charges on him. So as you see in the video, the son slowly pulled up. I thought it was like Men's Society Part 2. I'm like, well, damn, they took a long time to make this damn movie again. Men's Society came out, what, 93, 26 years later? I'm like, well, damn, where's Kane at? I figured that must be Kane in his old age. And uh, Lil Borden came back to get him. You know, Jada Pinkett's son in the movie. But anyway, now the SUV creep up in a nice Mercedes. And I guess that one was stolen also by Quintez riding the Blakers. I doubt very seriously if his ass came out of jail already and already bought a Mercedes SUV. So next thing you know, you see an older woman in the yard. So I'm guessing that may be his mom or stepmom, but that damn show was his dad. Now, next thing you know, the Joker rolled down the window, on with a rifle, and started letting off shots. My question is this right here, before I even get to the the, the fact about his daddy hauling ass and all that, how in the hell did you miss shooting anybody? I'm glad you did, but how can you miss shooting somebody with a damn rifle and you that damn close? Boy, your aim is bad as hell. All right, dad, or your dad, quick as flash, Gordon, his damn self. I don't understand that. Because how can you pull up on somebody and not even hit? It's a good thing you did because I ain't want to do no murder story. So it's a very good thing. God was with your parents that day. But I guarantee you, if that was my child, and I'm sure some of you all feel the same way. If you don't went to the distance, were you going to do a drive-by on me? You feel me? Like Denzel said, at Trans Day, you going to pull this shit on me? Oh, King Kong ain't got nothing on me. Your ass going to be in Pelican Bay smelling pine oil, pine soil, whatever the hell. But anyway. Now, you might ask yourself also, but Trey, how did it even get this down far? Man, look, we live in a crazy time, crazy days. And when I make these stories about these badass children, I'll be for real. Did y'all not hear the story I did about the woman that I think was out of Mississippi? May she rest in peace. Uh, with her two daughters, 14 and 12 year old, actually tried to run her over a week before, then it came back the next week, stabbed her, then shot her. And she laid there in the front yard. Y'all think these kids playing? Y'all think these kids won't bring that smoke to your ass? Oh, you better be on your P's and Q's. And you got to put the fear of God in them. See, we knew not to mess with our parents because we knew one thing. I, at least I knew my dad being in the Air Force and everything. And mom was already a gangster, feel me? But anyway, we knew one thing. Don't play with mama or daddy because they going to put something on your ass. You got to put the fear of God down. You might say, well, I don't want to watch this. Okay. Well, we'll be doing a video about your ass. I would just be trying to just give you the signs. Anyway, I'm going to read a snippet from this story, and I'm going to give my opinion. All of it. Surely, as we go. Family feud. Son fires shots. Fire hella shots, like my people in Cali say. Hella. Son fires hella shots at father from moving SUV. Investigators say, a.k.a. drive-by. Moving SUV. Now, what's believed to be an argument over money resulted in two people in Pompano Beach Front yard dodging bullets. Dodd Pop was dodging them, Joe, like he was the major. Did you not see how fast he took off? Pops can go play for the Miami Dolphins right now. Damn all that. Trying to fix your cars up and retire, Pops. Go play for the Dolphins because you used to run like damn Ricky Williams back in the damn day. Let me continue. Now, in his front yard dodging bullets, fired from a passing SUV. And guess who the bastard was driving the SUV is? Yes, somebody said it. His son. You're paying attention. Thank you. Now, investigators say the person pulling the trigger was the son of the man seen bolting 
like you saying, Bo, Bolton to safety in surveillance video released Wednesday by the Broward Sheriff's Office. I told you I would get them damn cameras. You don't never know. Y'all be looking out for strangers and pit bulls and loose dogs and coyotes and shit, alligators and since you're in Florida. Oh, you better be putting them out there for your damn children, especially if y'all on bad terms. You feel me? Especially if y'all what we call what? Beefing. If y'all got that street shit involved. Let's continue. Now, it was about 5.45 p.m. January the 4th when a gray Mercedes Benz GL350, and those jokers are nice. I'm telling you, but they ride so good, you won't even feel a home. It's seen slowly rolling past the driveway of the home on the 2500 block of Southeast 5th Street as a man stands behind a parked vehicle near a woman who appears to be looking at something on the ground. And that woman, she was scared shitless and stuff. I know she had to go in there and change her damn drawers and stuff because ain't no way in hell. See, Pops, Pops kind of seen it a little bit, mom to his shit or whoever the stepmom, whoever this woman is or whatever. She had her back turned. She didn't hear nothing. She just like, oh, you supposed to hit the ground and crawl on your elbows. If you got to do it, crawl on your elbows. If you got your back turned and you hear a shot from the back and you ain't hit, drop. Like drop and give me 50, hit your elbows and stuff. That's what you call arm and crawl. Pop seen that shit. Pop broke the hell out. He like, baby, get out. They shoot him. And come to find out, it's his damn son, Rodney Blake Quintez. Now, as shots started ringing out, from the passing SUV, the two people make a run for it. Well, Pops make a run for it. Uh, the other lady was just scared shitless as bullets bounce off the home's exterior. Did you not see those bullets bouncing off that damn uh, plaster and stuff? Like, bing, bing. You can see little clouds of dust and stuff. Look like I was playing damn Call of Duty. Bullets bounce off the home's exterior, sending puffs of smoke into the air. Not of the person was struck by the gunfire in the SUV sped from the scene. And thank the most high that wasn't nobody killed. But how in the hell do you have a rifle and you only 20, 30 feet from somebody and you miss? Were you trying to scare your dad? You thought your daddy had no surveillance camera up out there? What, what, what you thought you were doing? You know damn well your daddy ain't going to mess with you no more. You're going to be in prison. You ain't going to get no phone call, no money order, no visit or nothing. Probably your cousin or aunties, the ones who really feel sorry for you, going to come visit. Pops won't have shit to do with you no more. I know that was me. I wouldn't. Y'all can call me what you want to. If my child try to kill me or whatever, oh, that's it. That's it. I'm out your life for good. Let's finish up. Now, not a person was struck by the gunfire and the SUV sped from the scene. Sheriff's Office spokesman Gina Carter said, no kidding to Wayne Carter. Now, according to investigators, convicted felon, convicted felon, you convicted, and then you're going to go pull a damn gun, shoot at your own parents and stuff, and you already on probation? Oh, Lord, have mercy. You know, Florida for the nail your balls to the wall. Convicted felon Quintez Rodney Baker. Sound like somebody who will go at war with their own parents. Sound like somebody who will miss 10 shots up close range. Happens to be 20 years old, but look every bit. 38 years old is the person who fired the shots. He remains on the loose and is being sought by the sheriff's office. And they going to catch his ass if he don't get the hell out. Well, you all over the damn international news. Now they got people all in Kashnakistan and Korea talking about this case. Like, look at that. Look at all. Anyway, he drove up to a residence where his father was at with a friend and shot at him. With a friend in there, damn. At least six to eight possible times, maybe up to ten times. They didn't know how many times he was letting out shot. Might be ten plus eight, eighteen, with a rifle. Who you thought you was a rifleman? You thought you were Chuck Connor from the driver's seat of the vehicle. Detective Timothy Metz told the news station he came with somebody. Oh my goodness. Now, only limited information about what sparked the drive-by shooting was available. Really, at this point, we don't give a damn what the information is. Because for you to do this to your daddy, your daddy didn't try to kill you. Because if he did, I'm sure you could probably went to the police station since you got this much aggression against him to kill him. Basically kill him. And you can't say uh, he was trying to scare him. You don't, How are you going to sit up here and tell somebody, I was trying to scare you. I was, you know, I was trying to blow your damn ear off, your head off. Oh, no, ain't no scaring after that. Ain't no scaring after that. So, you know, pretty much. Messed up. Like the cop in uh, Menace to Society said, no, you done fucked up, right? No, you done fucked up. Detectives believe the motive for the shooting may have escalated from an argument over money. Carter said, and let's not hope it's that illegal money, that drug money. Now, Baker is currently on probation. You dumb ass. You on probation in a convicted felon for weapon charges and it's now being sought for, guess what, y'all? This is where it get real, real sad. For attempted murder, aggravated assault with a firearm and shoot it into a dwelling. The sheriff's office said, any information, please call the damn sheriff's office. That's exactly what it said. I mean, what is really going on? And I will leave uh, 
the link to the description to this website below the in the uh, description box so you all can go check it out. But what is going on when we live in a society this day and age where you have kids willingly, willingly participants to go and shoot at their parents, shoot at their own father? Look, I know a lot of us probably had bad experience coming up, but I'm sure a lot of us maybe have thought about depends on what the situation is. You know, you never know. But nine times out of ten, it should never get that serious where you have to go get a gun and shoot at your own people. And you know what? By that being my dad, I mean, if it's over money, just like if, if he owed me some money, if you out there involved in legal activity or whether you worked or whatnot, but due to the fact his long ass extensive criminal history, we can most likely guarantee that it wasn't no damn job money. So whatever, however he got the money, if it was from a friend or whatnot, is it still worth you putting your life on the line? Because what if your dad would turn around and shot you with that rusted ass musket or that forty five or something? You're lucky he didn't turn around and max pain your ass. But is it really worth it? That's why I say you have to be careful this day and age. It's the type of people you're dealing with because it's slowly getting crazy, more and more crazy. It's like the signs of the times where people are slowly losing their damn mind. And then doing the most erratic bullshit and still expect justice and still want people to, to justify their actions when it's not that serious. You feel me? A child's supposed to stay in a child place. So evidently, this guy did not learn at a young age and what's that trait to respect his parents. They must have put no fear in him. You say, I don't want my child to fear me. Okay. But when they grow up and beating your ass, start smacking you around for not making them peanut butter sandwiches, don't get mad at me. But not saying that you want them to fear them, but you want them to respect them. I mean, to respect you because they would know that, look, if I get out of line with my parents, either they're going to put something on my ass or I'm going to have to get up out of this house. Well, they may be only 10 years old. Guess what? Let the state raise you because if you're that damn bad, oh, I don't need you. I don't need you around. I'm sure some of you all feel that way also. And if you don't, then we'll be doing a story about you in the next year or two. Anyway, let me know what you all think about this situation. because It's a damn shame. But Pops, if he ever see this video... You need to go trial for the Miami Dolphins. Just play one year because they, they need you, man. They need you. Dolphins ain't did shit in a long time. You could be the running back, wide receiver, defensive lineman, whatever, because he got up. I couldn't even outrun him. I used to run track. Anyway, let me know what you all think about this video. If you like the video, push that like button. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely share this video with your family and friend with these badass kids who you tell every day, look, that boy, girl going to kill you. I'm out.